Peppa is going to Paris today to see her friend Delphine Donkey. Is everyone ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then Paris, here we come! Mummy, where is Paris? Paris is in France. We go on a ferry to get there. What is a ferry? Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll see! This is the ferry. Wow. <laughs> there are lots and lots of cars in here. Let's go up on deck and breathe in some fresh sea air. Look, Mummy! The boat is rocking about. Yes, Peppa. Mummy Pig doesn't like it when the boat rocks about. All this sea air is making me hungry. Who wants to eat? No, thank you. The waves are getting bigger. Here, I brought you a fried egg sandwich. Oh! Land ahoy! The ferry has arrived in France. Remember, Daddy Pig, they might drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. You see, it's just like driving at home. Ah! de la Hello there! Hello! Hello. <laughs> Peppa and her family have arrived in Paris. Delphine Donkey and her family are here to meet them. Bonjour. Bonjour, Delphine. Bonjour <laughs> means hello in French. <laughs> what would you like to see in Paris? I want to see everything. Oh, <laughs> it is impossible to see everything. In that case, I would like to see the real hidden Paris. The Paris that the tourists don't see. Bravo, Mr. Pig. Tell me, which part of the real hidden Paris would you like to see first? The Eiffel Tower. Ah, OK. This is the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is busy. Imagine what the tourist places must be like. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs! Get your little Eiffel Towers here! The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. I'm glad that's over. Oh, no. That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you feel dizzy, Daddy Pig, just close your eyes. OK. This is as high as we can go as visitors. Let's look at the view. Ooh. These steps are going on forever. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig is not looking where he is going. He is climbing up and up and up. What a wonderful view of Paris. It's lovely. Yes. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig? Where is everybody? Ooh. Daddy Pig is at the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Hang on, Daddy Pig. Ah. I must call for the rescue services. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lapin. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am going to get you down. Ah, I'm going even higher. What can you see, Daddy? I can see everything. <laughs> My Daddy came to Paris and he saw everything. <laughs> caves. Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the caves. Molly Mole is visiting the caves too. Hello, Molly. The caves sound exciting, don't they? Yes, I'm looking forward to the Ride of Doom. Uh, Ride of Doom? What's that? I don't know, but it sounds good. <laughs> Hello, here is Mr Rabbit. I'm your tour guide. Please put on these safety hard hats. 
will the case be dangerous? Not at all. Follow me for a completely safe tour. Good. All that talk of the Ride of Doom had me worried for a moment. I'm your tour guide. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit. Let's go on a wild, mad adventure. Oh, should we put on these safety hats? Why not? <laughs> Does anyone have a problem with going deep underground? Um, I'm not too keen on small dark spaces. Uh, like a cave, you mean? And I'm not so good with heights. I see. Anything else I should know? George and I like exciting places. Brilliant! These caves are ridiculously exciting. Please, follow me. <laughs> These steps take us down into the caves. Ooh, this is fun. Yes, it actually is quite fun. It's good not to know exactly how deep we are. We're a hundred metres down now. Imagine, if you will, the tons and tons of rock just sitting above our heads. Great. <laughs> Welcome to the caves! Ooh! It's so pretty and sparkly! <sighs> Amazing! Look! There's a little boat! All aboard! <laughs> you know what? Because this cave is so huge and beautiful, I feel fine about being down here. Now we go through this little tunnel! <laughs> It can get a bit squeezy. Breathe in. <gasps> Everyone out of the boat. I can't say I enjoyed that. Don't worry. We won't go through any more tunnels. Good. We just have to cross this chasm. Whoa, that looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. So, how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mull said the ride of doom was the best bit. Uh, what exactly is this ride of doom? Nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody! <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe. Wow! Uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to? Uh... See you on the other side. Wow! Wait for me. Uh... If that isn't the craziest fun in the world, I don't know what is. <laughs> it was brilliant. Did you enjoy it, Daddy? Uh, yes. Here, at the deepest point of the caves, our tour comes to an end. Any questions? Uh, how do we get out? Oh, a good question. We take the lift. Here we are, back on the surface again. <sighs> Daylight. Welcome to the gift shop. Look, there's a picture of us on the ride of doom. <laughs> Daddy, you look funny. That will help you remember the ride of doom forever. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pepper loves caves. Everyone loves caves. <laughs> Easter Bunny! Pepper and her friends have come to Rebecca Rabbit's house for an Easter egg hunt. Hello, Rebecca! Hello, everyone! Are you looking forward to the egg hunt? Yes! yes. Ready, steady, go! Wait! Stop! Stop! What? You can't start! The Easter Bunny hasn't been to hide the eggs yet. Oh! When is the Easter Bunny getting here? Very soon. Good! We'll wait. Uh, but the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if you're looking. OK, we'll close our eyes. <laughs> no peeking. I can hear something. It's the Easter Bunny. No, it's not. It's just my daddy. Here is Mr Rabbit. Hello, everyone. What are you all doing here? We've come 
time for the Easter egg hunt. Oh. I hope the Easter bunny will come soon, Mr Rabbit. Oh, yes, me too. I uh, must just go and check my carrot patch. This is Mr Rabbit's carrot patch. Remember, children, the Easter bunny is very shy and won't come if we're looking. Let's wait indoors. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit's house is underground. <laughs> Rebecca, have you ever seen the Easter bunny? No, but the Easter bunny is a rabbit. Yes. And you are a rabbit. Yes. What does it look like? I think it looks like me, but a bit bigger. <laughs> I think the Easter Bunny has a rocket pack. <laughs> yes, it's a super bunny. I think the Easter Bunny has a magic fairy wand. I think the Easter Bunny must be very big to carry all those eggs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Easter Bunny is invisible. What? Invisible means you can't see it. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> oh, somebody's hiding an egg. It must be the Easter Bunny. I wish we could see the real Easter Bunny. Maybe we can see it through the window. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't see anything. We're never going to see the Easter Bunny. Ahem. <gasps> Remember, no peeking. Sorry, Mummy. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How are your carrots? What carrots? The carrots you went out to check. Oh, uh, they're fine. Daddy, did you see the Easter Bunny? Uh, no, but I'm sure the Easter Bunny will have been by now. Do you think the children can start looking for the eggs yet? Oh, yes. I would say so. <laughs> right. Are you ready to find the eggs the Easter Bunny has hidden? Yes! Ready? When you have found all the eggs, we share them out equally. Steady! There should be one egg Go! for every child. Don't worry if it takes you a long time to find them. Danny Dog has found an egg under a plant pot. <laughs> Susie Sheep has found one in a bush. Pepper has found an egg in a tree. George has found one in a bucket. Finished! Wow, that was quick. And with one egg each. Great. Wait! What's that over there? It's the Easter Bunny! Shh! Let's creep up quietly. Yes! <laughs> now we'll see what the Easter Bunny looks like. <laughs> That is not the Easter Bunny. That is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh, we thought you were the Easter Bunny. No, I'm me. And I found an egg. <laughs> We've all found eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bunny and I like to play. I hop, skip and jump and I play all day. I've a fluffy tail and bouncy legs. I like eating carrots and chocolate eggs. <laughs> <laughs> we are little bunnies and we... Boomerang! <laughs> it is the end of Peppa's holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Why don't you children go and play in the garden while we pack? OK, Mummy! <laughs> This holiday is the best! <laughs> I loved having you stay, Peppa. I wish we didn't have to go back home. <laughs> Don't be sad. I've got you a goodbye present. Ooh, is it a banana? No. <laughs> Dinosaur? No. It's a thing. Yes, but it's not just any old thing. It's a boomerang. A boomerang? Boomerangs are very special to us. We've used them since olden times. Wow! Thank you, Kylie. Uh, what do you do with it? You play catch with it. Like a ball. Sort of, but when you throw a boomerang, it comes back to you. That's impossible. <laughs> I told you it was impossible. You need to throw it harder. George, you have a go. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work.
work. You're just not throwing it right. <laughs> you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? <gasps> Watch out! Whoa! Ha! I did it! The boomerang has flown all the way back to Pepper. <laughs> what was that? It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good look out, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next-door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was, uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Ah, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's a good throw. Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Ah, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. Mr Wallaby really is a very nice neighbour. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Where have you all been? Ah, just throwing boomerangs, you know. Mr Wallaby's windows have all been We broken. had a great time, didn't we, kids? Yes. yes. <laughs> I've loved having you stay, Pepper. We've loved it too, haven't we, George? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your present. Oh, yes, the boomerang. Thank you. <laughs> Come back again. I will, just like the boomerang. <laughs> Pepper has had the best holiday ever with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Today is Captain Dog's birthday. Happy birthday, Captain Dog! <sighs> Thank you, everyone. Daddy, you look sad. Oh, it's nothing, son. Just seeing this here boat reminded me how much I miss the sea. Captain Dog loves the sea. Why not open your birthday present? It's a boat trip. A boat trip? <laughs> That's just what I wanted. Let's go! <laughs> There's nothing better than sailing a boat. You could go anywhere you want in a sailing boat. We could head for the tropics or have an Arctic adventure. We might even see a whale. <laughs> it's just a day trip, dear. This is the canal. Now, where's the sailing boat? We're going on this canal boat. I see. We use the canal boat to get to the sailing boat. No, dear. We're going on this boat for your birthday and we're sailing it down the canal. But on a canal, you can only go this way and that way. It'll be fun. Come on, Dad. It is a boat. Yes, Danny, you're right. A boat on the water. All aboard. Oh, I wanted to say that. Oh, I'm sorry. Go on, then. All aboard! <laughs> Raise the sail! Oh, where is the sail? Canal boats do not have sails. 
You just push this button to make the boat go. Ah, thank you, Mummy Dog. <laughs> and we're away. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Duck is going faster than our boat. Want a race, do you, Mrs. Duck? <laughs> Full steam ahead. <laughs> uh, can't this thing go any faster? No, this is the top speed. Oh. Anyway, you want to slow down. We're coming to a mountain. Ah! Look out! We're going to crash straight into it. No, we're going into the tunnel. There is a tunnel through the mountain. It's all gone dark. And our voices sound funny. <laughs> <laughs> we sailed straight through the middle of a mountain. <laughs> this canal boat is actually quite fun. <laughs> Look, here comes another mountain. And that means another tunnel. Not this time. Oh, there's no tunnel. So what do we do? We're going uphill. There's no way in the world a boat can go uphill. There is, and it's called a lock. Watch, I'll show you. Mummy Dog is opening the gates to the lock. Take her in, Captain. Just wait there while I close these lock gates. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm letting in the water from the top. We're going up. The rising water is lifting the canal boat up. Now I open these gates. Take her out, Captain. Full steam ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Where's the ground gone? We're in the sky. We're sailing over a bridge. Yes. This bridge means we can sail high above the valley below. Ha <laughs> ha! Sailing across the sky. What could be a better adventure? <laughs> <laughs> sailing across the sky in a boat so high, floating on the water, sailing across the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a fun time, Daddy? I should say so. I've sailed through mountains, over hills, and across the sky. <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. Captain Dog loves canal boats. Everyone loves canal boats. Bing, the zoo. Pepper and her playgroup are visiting the zoo for the day. Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, Madame Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr. Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, Gazelle, Wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? Oh, wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. The 
there's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Crocodile and Mr. Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs. Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes. Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello, I'm Mr. Giraffe. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies! Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr. Lion? Oh, lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice, and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Mr. Lion loves feeding time at the zoo. Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Let's do a bicycle race. OK. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> oh, no! What's the matter, Peppa? My tyre has gone flat. It's only a puncture. I'm a bit of an expert at mending punctures. First, we take off the wheel. Next, we take the tyre off the wheel. Are you coming, Peppa? Then we need a bucket of water. Can you do it quickly, Daddy? I won't be long, Peppa. While you wait, you could pretend to ride a bicycle. Pretend? Yes, your very own pretend bicycle. Hmm. OK, I have thought of a very nice bike. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm riding my bicycle. La, 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 la. <laughs> Why are you walking, Funny? I'm not walking, Susie. Where's your bicycle? It's here. It's a pretend bicycle. <laughs> it's got sparkly wheels and it's painted like a rainbow. Ooh. I wish I had a pretend bicycle. You can, and it can be anything you like. OK, my pretend bicycle is pink and fluffy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. Do you want to play ball? Have you got a ball? No. It doesn't matter. We can have a pretend ball. Catch, Danny! <laughs> Let's give it a big kick. Oof! Oh! Hello, everyone. It is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with a pretend ball. Until Danny kicked it over there. Oh, I know a pretending game. You have to guess what I am. You're a rabbit. No, I'm pretending to be something else. Are you a donkey? No. Are you a fluffy elephant? No. A space rocket? No. <sighs> this is going to take a long time, isn't it? Ask me if I'm big. Are you big? No. I'll give you a clue. I'm a vegetable. Hmm. Can you give us a better clue? Ask me if I'm a carrot. 
Are you in carrot? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> George has come to play. George, you pretend to be something and we will guess what you are. A dinosaur. <laughs> That's too easy, George. You can be anything in the whole wide world. George is thinking. <gasps> A dinosaur. Hello, everyone. Here is Pedro Pony. What are you playing? We were playing a pretend guessing game, but I think that game is over. What game do you want to play, Pedro? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Yes! Let's find some puddles! <coughs> oh, there are no puddles. <coughs> you need rain for puddles. We can pretend it's raining. <laughs> it's raining, it's pouring, <laughs> the splish is splosh, the rain comes down. Diddly, diddly, diddly. <laughs> the pretend rain has made pretend puddles. Hooray! Splish, splash, splosh! Peppa, your bike is mended. I don't need it now, Daddy. Oh? I'm pretending to jump up and down in muddy puddles. Ah, yes. Those puddles do look rather good. I think I'll do some puddle jumping myself. Ready, steady. Stop! What's the matter, Peppa? If you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> but I'm wearing my best pretend boots. <laughs> then you are allowed to jump. Ready, steady, jump! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in pretend muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in pretend muddy puddles. <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing on their scooters. Whee! <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> oh. George is still learning how to scooter. He is a bit worried. <laughs> George, come on! <laughs> What's the matter, George? <laughs> Shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this with both hands. Now stand on the scooter. Oh. No, George. Stand on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now push off with the other foot like this. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George has learned to scooter. <laughs> Peppa, George. That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! Whee! Wait for me. See you later, Mummy Pig. See you later. Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. Not so fast. Come on, Daddy. Daddy can't keep up. Wait for me. Pepper and George have arrived at playgroup. Bye. Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! Ha <laughs> ha, this is fun. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. <laughs> brum, brum. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Peppa and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> 
Very good, Peppa and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. <laughs> Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> 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 that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy, Daddy, you brought our scooters. <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> Mummy Pig is working on the computer. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Ticken on the computer? Not at the moment, Peppa. I need to finish the important book I'm writing. Daddy Pig is in the kitchen making lunch. Daddy, <coughs> when can we play Happy Mrs Chicken? When Mummy has finished writing her book. Oh, that's it. After lots and lots of hard work, I've finally finished writing my book. Well done, Mummy Pig. Now we can play Happy Mrs Chicken. Hooray! <laughs> you did save your work, didn't you? Ah, no. I didn't press save. <laughs> George, that's the highest score ever! <laughs> Duh, my work! Where's my work? Ah, there it is! Quick, save, close, send! Phew! Is your work all right, Mummy? Yes, Pepper. I've just sent it off to be made into a real storybook. Ooh, a storybook! Not just one book, lots and lots of books going to bookshops everywhere! Wow! wow. Mummy! Can you read us your story? Yes, I'm going to read it to you and your friends at Playgroup tomorrow. Mummy Pig has arrived at the Playgroup with lots of copies of her new book. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book. So we must listen politely, even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four seven six eight five nine three. Oh. The rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is 476859? It's nine? George's Happy Mrs Chicken High Score. Wow, that is a high score. But where's my funny onion story? It's gone. I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. <laughs> All he wanted was to make people laugh. But he made people cry instead because he was an onion. <laughs> what a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madam Gazelle. It's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said... 
I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, do something funny. Funny Onion did something funny and everyone laughed. They laughed and laughed and laughed. The end. Marvellous. I think it speaks to all of us. The parents have come to collect the children. I've just been to the bookshop, Mummy Pig. It's full of your books. What did you mean by 453967? Well, er, uh, actually... It's probably post-narrative. Very modern. Uh, well done, Mummy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> the parents love Mummy Pig's book. The children love Mummy Pig's book. Everyone loves Mummy Pig's book. Pepper and George are visiting <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig. Hello, Grandpa! Hello, Pepper and George. <laughs> George has found a ball. <laughs> ah! Careful, George. This is my greenhouse. It is made out of glass, which breaks easily. Oh. Let's throw this ball out of harm's way. Oi! Who's throwing footballs at my greenhouse? Ah! People who live in glass houses should not throw footballs. You threw it first! It nearly smashed my greenhouse! Call that a greenhouse? It's a pile of rotten old windows. It's good enough for growing tomatoes. I'm amazed you can grow anything in that rubbish tip. I'll grow more than you do in your fancy glass box. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are the very best of friends. Grandpa, why is your greenhouse made of glass if glass breaks easily? Because I grow plants in it. Let me show you. These plants like sunlight and glass lets the light in. Ooh, this plant smells lovely. Oh, that's just basil. Granny Pig throws the seeds in a pot and it just grows. Oh. Let me show you something that takes real skill to grow. My tomatoes. They are very small, Grandpa. Eat one and tell me what it tastes like. It tastes of... nothing. Well, they're not quite ready yet. Hello, my little ones. Mm, Granny Pig! <laughs> Could I have some tomatoes, please, Grandpa Pig? Uh, no. I I'm afraid the tomatoes aren't ready. Maybe in a few weeks. But I want to make tomato salad for lunch. Grandad Dog is growing tomatoes. Yes. Maybe Grandad Dog will lend us some. I don't think we want Grandad Dog's rusty old tomatoes. Ugh. Cooey! Grandad Dog! Ah, oh, Granny Pig! Lovely to see you this fine morning. Do you have any tomatoes we might borrow? Borrow? You can take as many tomatoes as you like. The tomatoes have done very well this year. They look a lot bigger than your tomatoes, Grandpa. They may be bigger, but that doesn't mean they're better. Pepper, would you like to taste one? Yes, please. Mmm, yummy. That is the best tomato I have ever tasted, ever. Ah. How did you grow them, Grandad Dog? I didn't really mean to grow them. I just threw some old tomato seeds down in the corner there and they grew. Fill your basket. There's too many for me to eat. Thank you. We're going to make a lovely tomato salad. Ah, I know a great recipe for a tomato salad. Lovely. Can you make it for us? The problem is, my recipe needs basil, and I haven't managed to grow any basil. My grandpa has lots of lovely basil. Really? Oh, yes. Grown heaps of the stuff. Let me show you. Very impressive. 
Tell me, what's the secret of growing basil? Well, it's quite tricky. The first thing you have to do... I throw some seeds in a pot and the basil grows. You mean it just grows by itself? Uh... Yes. <sniffs> Is it lunchtime yet, Granny? Oh, my poor darlings, you must be starving. Let's make that tomato salad. First, we slice the tomatoes. Add a little splash of olive oil, a shake of pepper, a teeny tiny pinch of salt, and finish the whole thing off with these lovely basil leaves. Tuck in, everyone. Mmm. Mmm. Marvellous tomatoes. Thanks to my greenhouse. Mmm. Beautiful basil. Thanks to my greenhouse. This is the best tomato salad in the world ever. <laughs> <laughs> sailing boat. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George sailing. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Here are Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi. They are members of the sailing club. Hello, we're just going out for a sail. It's a bit early for sailing. Yes, you can't go sailing now. Thank you for your advice. See you later. Grandpa, your friend said that we can't go sailing yet. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh, bother. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the mud. No water, Grandpa. Uh, yes. The tide seems to be out. So we can't go sailing? Don't worry. The water will come back again soon and the boat will rise up. The water is coming back. It certainly is. The water is lifting Grandpa's boat out of the mud. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. Let's go sailing. Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. Oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Are you okay there? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobbing, 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 bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Ha <laughs> ha, right you are. Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the ties than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. Are we stuck in the mud, Grandpa? Yes. But only until the tide changes, then the water will lift us up again. When will the water come back? Uh, tomorrow morning. Oh. We'll just have to spend the night on the boat. A sleepover! Hooray! <laughs> I'd better give Granny Pig a call. Hello? Hello, Granny Pig. We've decided to spend the night out on the boat. <laughs> you mean you've got the tides wrong. No, no, of course not. Uh, I just... We're uh... stuck in the mud, Granny. <laughs> I knew it. It's an adventure, Granny. We'll see you in the morning. Where will we sleep, Grandpa? Here. <laughs> the boat has two little bunk beds. Ooh. <laughs> and I will sleep on deck under the stars. Night, night, Grandpa. <laughs> Night, night, Pepper and George. Pepper and George are asleep in the bunks. Grandpa Pig is asleep on the deck. The stars are twinkling in the sky above. It is morning. We're bobbing up and down. <laughs> Look, children, the water is back. Hooray! 
Grandpa Pig's boat is floating again. Time to sail home. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. The boat bobs up and down. <laughs> Granny Pig has come to meet Pepper and George. Granny Pig! Thank you. Hello, my little ones. Did you have a nice time? Yes. We got stuck in the mud and had a sleepover. <laughs> Pepper loves sailing. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> loves sailing. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to talk about what you would like to be when you grow up. Ooh. You can use the dressing up box to help you decide. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Don't worry, Pepper, you have plenty of time to think about it. Okay. When I grow up, I want to be the queen, so I can tell people what to do. I see. I think I might like to be a teacher. What is it about being a teacher that you like the most, Emily? Telling people what to do. OK. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, 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 Thank Nina, you, Freddy. Nina, woo. What else do you like about being a policeman? They tell people what to do. Right. I would like to be a doctor or a nurse. Why do you think you would like that job, Susie? Because they help sick people get better. <laughs> Wonderful. And they tell people what to do. Yes, not all jobs are about telling people what to do. Oh. There are lots of other important jobs like... Being a builder or a poet. When I grow up, I will be a pirate. Aha! Pirates sing happy songs and they go yo ho ho. Yes, I'm not sure that being a pirate is a job as such. Either a pirate or a farmer. Oh, yes, being a farmer is much better. You would grow things and make food for us all to eat. And I'll tell all the animals what to do. Right. I will be a superhero. Being a superhero is a very important job. You have to run faster than a train, jump tall buildings and... I don't want to do all of those superhero things, but I do want to tell people what to do. <laughs> Yes, of course. <laughs> it is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Hello, my little piggies. <coughs> so tell me, what did you learn at playgroup today? Madam Gazelle asked us what we want to be when we grow up. That sounds nice. Not really, Mummy. Everybody knows what they want to be, but I don't. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up, George? Dinosaur! George wants to be a dinosaur when he grows up. You see? Don't worry, Pepper. You have plenty of time to decide what you want to be. OK. What do you do, Mummy? I work on my computer. Do you get to tell people what to do? No. Well, that's no good then. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. What do you do, Daddy? I could tell you, Pepper, but I think you'd find it a bit boring. I wouldn't, Daddy. <coughs> please tell me, please. OK. My job is to design and facilitate strategies of function by material means in concrete. Do you like your job, Daddy? I like it, but not everyone would. Everyone is different, Pepper. Hmm. What can I do then? Think of something you like doing. I like jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Uh, there aren't that many jobs. I, I... want to be famous for jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> I want to be famous for having a big tummy, Pepper. But that's never going to happen. But I'm very good at puddle jumping. Yes, I suppose you are. When I grow up, I will show everyone in the world how to jump in muddy puddles. That sounds like a very good idea. Night-night, Pepper. Night-night, George. 
Night, night. Pepper and George are falling asleep to dream about dinosaurs and puddle jumping. Mummy Pig is measuring Pepper. There, Pepper. That's how tall you are. I'm taller than I was before. That's because you're growing up, Pepper. Now George's turn. <laughs> there, George. That's how tall you are. <laughs> I am taller than George. Oh. Don't worry, George. As you get older, you'll get taller. Yes, but I will always be taller than you, George, because I will always be older. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for playgroup. <laughs> Children, today a new friend is joining our playgroup. Say hello to Gerald. Hello, Gerald. Hello. Wow, you're really tall. So you must be really old. No, Gerald is the same age as you. Why is he so tall then? I'm tall because I'm a giraffe. I'm taller. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You measure to the top of the ears. Oh, do ears count? Gerald Giraffe is the tallest. Oh. I wish I was as tall as Gerald. And me. And me. And me. And me. It is playtime. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two. While Pepper three, counts to ten, four, everyone must five, find a hiding six, place. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Found you, Gerald. <laughs> oh, you didn't find me. Or me. Or me. Or me. Or me. <laughs> I always get found because I'm so tall. Oh, it's not much fun being tall. I have to bend down to talk to everyone. I have to bend down to talk to George. Hello, George. What's it like being little? <laughs> Let's play ball! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Maybe I'll play later. Gerald Giraffe doesn't want to play because he is sad. To you, Danny! To you, Pedro! Catch, Peppa! Oh! The ball is stuck in the tree. I can't reach it. Let me have a go. No, it's too high. What can we do? Chop the tree down! No! I can get it with my trunk. Ugh, no, I can't. If Emily can't reach it with her trunk, then we'll never get our ball back. What can we do? Chop the tree down! No! no! If only there was somebody tall enough to reach our ball! Gerald! What? You can reach the ball because you're tall. I can try. <laughs> Gerald Giraffe has rescued the ball. <laughs> oh, I can see something else. There's an animal stuck in the tree. Is it a cat? No, I'm here. It is Tiddles the tortoise. Tiddles! Tiddles! Here is Dr Hamster, the vet. <gasps> you naughty tortoise. Who do I have to thank for rescuing my Tiddles? Gerald! <laughs> thank you, Gerald. My goodness, you are a tall lad. I'm a giraffe. Oh. But you're taller than Gerald, Dr Hamster. Yes, that's because I'm a hamster. Are hamsters always taller than giraffes? Um... I will be taller than Dr Hamster when I'm older. Yes. Grown-up giraffes tend to be taller than grown-up hamsters. Hello! Hello! Mummy and Daddy Giraffe have come to collect Gerald from Playgroup. Wow! You're as tall as the sky! That's because we're giraffes. And my Mummy and Daddy are very, very old. <laughs> the castle. Today, Pepper and George are going to visit a castle. What will we do at the castle, Mummy? Let me see what the guidebook says. 
Will the castle be good or will it be boring? It will be good. Will we see knights in armour? <laughs> George likes knights in armour. You never know, George. We might even see a dragon. <laughs> a pretend dragon, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Dragons are in storybooks. They're not really real. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the castle. Welcome to the castle tour. Cars are parked to owner's risk. What does that mean, Daddy? Oh, nothing, Pepper. They always say that in car parks. Please make your way to the castle where you will be met by a knight in armour. <laughs> Hello, it is Mr Rabbit, dressed as a knight in armour. We start the castle tour here at the cannon. In the olden days, this cannon fired these heavy cannonballs high up into the sky. Daddy, is he going to fire the cannon? No, that would be crazy. Right, let's fire the cannon. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! That almost hit our car. Well, we do say cars are parked at owner's risk. On with the tour. You are going to see the wonders of the castle. Eat a real medieval banquet? Wow, a real medieval banquet. It sounds delicious. And meet a dragon. <laughs> this is the royal throne room where the king and queen would sit. <gasps> Who would like to have a go? <laughs> George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh. Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow! This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic! Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box! Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes! Oh, it's heading for our car. Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour. Hope you had a lovely time. I think that was George's best day out ever. <laughs> George loves castles. Everyone loves castles.